we are here once again to journey into the greatness of hopefully <laughs> hopefully i can enjoy this one as much as i enjoyed nirvana in fire so first of all if you guys have not seen my reactions to nirvana and fire you just find in my channel make sure to go check out the nirvana and fire reactions i have officially put nirvana and fire in my top five tv shows of all times what are you waiting on what are you waiting on go watch go watch it so i am going to be providing early access to joy of life um, and the reason why I'm doing that is because um, I'm going to be watch. I'm going to be basically binging the show, right? Um, and of course, not all the episodes are going to hit the channel at once. I try not to do too much when it comes on to when it comes on to TV shows and putting them on the channel. So, you know, more than likely you'll get one episode per day or something like that we'll do the same thing we're doing with nirvana when it comes on that we did with nirvana when it comes on to the channel but this time you're going to be able to get early access if you want to also support the channel as well it's only two dollars a month i'll be putting these up on early access if you want to support your boy i did nirvana and fire it was not on early access but i'm going to try to at least um drop at least uh, um about five episodes ahead of what's going on on the youtube channel itself okay so if you want to do that the link is down in the description just join the membership of the link that is there that is my old channel that youtube has completely completely <laughs> basically killed my original channel i had to start a backup channel so if you are watching this on terabyte reaction gaming um that is the reason this is the backup channel okay so my original channel is actually called terabyte reacts um but i had to create a backup channel to keep things going it, it, it is what it is um you know i'm not complaining in any way or anything like that even though I was kind of mad when it just dropped. I was a little mad about it because to start to start over from scratch after you've been building something for years, it's not, you know what I'm saying? You can't just take that with a grain of salt, <laughs> you know, it's like, but you got to. But anyways, we're jumping into joy of life. You guys said this is the next one on the agenda to watch i was there's a couple of other shows that i will be enjoying as well alongside this from asian media this, um the other one um that i'm going to be doing is going to be called allison borderland but um that is more in the just the same genre of squid game i think so we're going to be checking that out as well um so yeah man i know that you know, these series are not very popular in the Western world, but I'm trying to get people to watch it nonetheless. You know, I know this is one of this is one of the um, things where, you know, it was not because of Squid Game, because I've been watching Asian media, but it wasn't because of Squid Game. Squid Game was just brought a lot of attention or bring a lot of people to react to a lot of stuff from Asian media um, because they're like, oh, we didn't know that they made stuff, right? Um, so I'm not new to Asian media. I just wish I would watch them a lot more. I just didn't know, you know, what to watch in Asian media. You guys have put me up on game. So I really, really do appreciate y'all, all of my Nirvana and Fire fans. Hopefully you guys come back and enjoy joy of life with me and well you guys suggested it so this is the one that i'm doing after this we're gonna go back and do nirvana in fire 2 so hopefully you guys stick around for that as well so we got 40 something episodes to go man to finish this series as i said i'm gonna try to stay of stay ahead at least five 
episodes ahead on early access so if you want to watch this this series earlier you want to support the channel link is down in the description join the membership and it, as i said it's only two us dollars per month so if you are watching in asia or whatever i don't know what what that translates to, to you guys or if you even understand what i'm even saying i'm pretty sure that um some subtitles is translating this into chinese or mandarin i should say i think it's mandarin right it's mandarin um or japanese or wherever you're watching this from around the world because i seem to have more people that are engaged from around the world rather than the people who actually live in the country that i live in but <laughs> it is what it is you know us i don't know what is it about you know americans they they do stuff <laughs> they do stuff but in any case guys thank you guys so much for tuning in we're gonna dive into joy is life i don't know what this is going to be about this seems like more of a romantic drama not necessarily a historical drama but it could be an historical drama i don't know you guys didn't really give me a synopsis on what it is and i didn't read up anything about it so i don't really know what's going to take place but in any case guys let's jump into the reaction and i will see you guys you know what before we go before we go um just so you know if you're new to the channel the way how we do things is you can watch the cut ver the cut up version on youtube if you want to or you can go and enjoy the full reaction for absolutely free so it's up to you guys um that is how i do things over here you guys can go enjoy the full reaction i'm gonna see how things go and how things pick up and we'll go from there so i will see you guys right after this for the review Hello 您反对现代思想跟古代文学的碰撞，是因为这是一个无法求证的话题。但如果我换一个方式，我已经报名参赛了。科幻题材，故事是现代思想和古代制度的碰撞，主题是假如生命在活一次。为什么要选择生命重来一次的主题？每一个人心里或多或少都想过重活一次，因为人生总是有太多遗憾。所以这故事真正的意义是珍惜现在，为美好而活。These subtitles are—they come off the screen. They don't even give you time to actually read the damn thing properly. But, you know, thank God I'm a fast reader. Tell 爱银钱忘骨肉恨旧奸凶十二只红楼曲里的刘余庆 All right, so Vicky. All right, so that was a, well, I will still keep 
I don't even know. I spent fifteen dollars to buy this thing on Amazon, and now I'm not going to use it. I got got ninjas. All right. Or. Ego 你要带他去什么地方？安全的地方。我既然回来了，京都就是最安全的。小姐遇害，你和你的黑旗为什么不在京都？我听命行事。你是说这件事背后？ 还有人藏得更深，这座城里的人，我不信任。你能教他什么呀？无主，你功夫高绝天下，只会杀人。你也一样。站住！有一个地方会适合他。哪里？ 知道的，老太太就住那里。Well, I guess we're gonna learn what's the importance of this baby. 我拥有现代人的记忆，却变成一个孩子。命运给我机会，让我摆脱绝症，重活一次。我会好好把握。至于我现在的名字。呃，我叫范闲，我知道你们在想什么。范闲，这个名字真的很讨嫌。你可回来了，这俩都是我怨你的丫鬟，你打他们了。少爷，你爱瞎跑吧，也不碍事儿。可是你千不该万不该的，你
就地。做管家。No problem. Our Chinese love your rice, though. 都换了吧。是，我这就是少爷找几个懂事的去。不用了，奶奶，我还近，今天起院子里都不用人了。那就都撤了吧。是。我这就去安排。马车在门口，吃好饭，若若启程回京都。You gotta send her back, I guess. I don't know. Not quite know what's going on yet, but <laughs> I know we'll we'll eventually get there, right? Ban Xian, 少爷，您也别太难过了。若若小姐出身高贵，回京是迟早的事儿。您不入族谱。没有名分，与若若小姐天差地别。对了，您院里的丫鬟我都调走了，那么大的院子，夜里就你一个人儿，要小心点儿哦，别闹鬼才好哦。你调的是门牙吗？曹雅，那为什么说话漏风？漏风。就像放牧羊。你是范闲啊？你终于来了。我谁呀？你是我爹。我，我不是你爹。你就是我爹。他给你准备的，给我准备的什么呀？竹叶茶。谁给我准备的呀？娘。胡说八道的！你出生那天，你娘就死了。她一直在啊。她在哪儿啊？啊，她在那儿。嗯。Yo, who is this child, bro? And why the hell is he so strong? Think he did? Just knocked him out, probably. Nice. Just you. He's called Fei Jie. He's the third chief of the Jingdu Police Department. He's his own. Huh? Then I don't have to tell you why I'm not saying it. You didn't ask. What's wrong? He's been dead for three days. 他不记仇吧？自己人为什么长这么猥琐？其实你被人砸晕了。是你吧？不是我呀。不是你是谁啊<笑> ？Blame it on a w u z u 时间来儋州，还是一直惦念着你。说来也是因为我行事鬼祟
，武大人砸了我一下，不是我，<笑>他砸的，<笑>不是一下，三下，哎哎哎哎，老夫人，这是范大人给您的亲笔信。先生，这头啊，路遇歹徒，遭人袭击了。凶犯可曾抓获？不劳老夫人烦心，坏人已经抓到了。<笑>那就好。据先生说，我儿子千里迢迢，请先生到儋州，是为少爷做老师的。正式。Oh, so Lord Fan is the the guy that we met that Wu Zhu was with. I to Dong Yi. Wu Zhu. Don't know if the old lady wants to teach him what. So it's her son. Uh, is that what I'm guessing? Is it his own fault? Why is this man just always on these handmaids' ass, bro? Jesus! What the hell? Oh, this man is always on these handmaids' ass, bro. 主意了，到了啊！嗯，我跟你说啊，喝完粥之后啊，就回屋好好休息休息。你给我这脑子砸了个青！我睡醒了，上课。上什么课？学医。学医？<笑>好了，开关。好的。哎。你怎么不问我为什么呀？问什么？为什么要掘坟开棺？得先了解人体，找个尸体解剖，作为学习第一步，挺正常的呀。嗨。尸体还算新鲜，抛开了，查查什么死因。Yeah, this is so weird, Daddy. They have a kid. He has the kid doing this. It's like, and he's just like so nonchalant about it. Gloves will slow you down. 手术手套特别薄，你现在手那种，懂吗？你说那手套，我我从来没听说过。你动完刀，你你好好洗手不就完了 ？Oh, I think I kind of understand what's. I think I kind of understand what's going on. It's like a. It's like he's been. He's. Been transferred into the past, so there's a lot of things that does not come as a surprise to him because he's like living in a, he's like living in the story of the past. It's weird to to <laughs> to explain. It's kind of weird to explain because it's like it's a situation where he's like he knows about surgical gloves. The other guy doesn't, you know, the guy, they are all like he's been transferred into the past, but he still knows about the 21st century stuff. So it's, it's a cool dynamic. I like it. It's a cool dynamic. Because. It's it's like he's living the story he's writing, which is kind of weird. 
天下宗师就应该是五位了。嗯，给。你要和五叔叔有什么关系？武大人是你母亲的仆人。那我娘岂不是更厉害？你母亲确实是天下无双啊。她当年是怎么死的？那不能说。多少透露点。你话太多了，你是不是坚持不住了？<笑>你你受不了这球啊！哎，老师，我还是个孩子。我娘是不是被你气死了？忘了。那我这真情问题到底该怎么办呢？吃完萝卜，跟我来。去哪儿？运用你的真气，将真气灌注在脚上，速度会更快。Probably the weirdest training I've ever seen. I haven't trained, and I won't use magic. So I thought of a way to train your body. What way? I'll hit you. And then what? You hide. Just this way. 只要你有足够的眼力、反应、速度和力量，嘿嘿嘿，尽力躲开。再来。没事没事，小孩子都贪睡。你在我捡筷子的时候下了毒，啊，味道发涩，所以混在野菜里。嗯，按平时教的，自己选、啊。It's a weird way to teach. Effective way to learn about poison is to poison yourself, I guess. <laughs> Oh, 
段长虹，这查理没有啊？你怎么做到的？表皮没有，内里有毒，你自己想想吧。嘿嘿嘿 ，Got him！ 出招了。对，不是毒，而是时间。这些日子，老师都是用了上等毒药。老师，您不是中毒了，而是您补的太狠，气血旺盛。你倒是聪明。真是另辟蹊径呀！三日出师了。嗯。你中招了，我就出师了。对。我出师了。嘿嘿嘿。What now? Does he have to leave? Qi zong hui san, ren zong yao fen. Bie song la. Oh, he has to leave too. 我真正能全心信任依赖的，只有我读书一人。他当之无愧。现在有多了一个。Okay, cool. I like that. 别忘了，丹州还有一个目不听话的学生。给。What is this? 检察院提示的腰牌，院长让我交给你的。你们这院长是不是认识我？他跟你母亲是旧识。我有东西给你。Surgical gloves. Use yang chang do. Ah. After you remove the body, made it with sheep liver. Ah. I like it. Thank you. I want to meet you in a better year. I might choose another path. How the hell do you get latex out of sheep liver? How the hell do you get latex out of sheep liver? It looks like latex. At least <laughs> plastic. Lucia,接来我给你送粥。他走了，反而是好事。他留在儋州，就会把京都人的目光招引过来。我会有危险。如果。红甲骑士出现在儋州的街头，真正的威胁也就来了。什么红甲骑士？哎，范县少爷，你在干什么？我在等红甲骑士。什么红甲骑士？你不懂。范先少爷，还在等红甲骑士啊？ Red soldiers.
这些人都是接我去京都的，谁让他们来的？自然是你父亲。我已经回绝了。京都不是什么好地方。你娘死在京都，留在儋州，命会长些。可是他们都在外边跪着呢。让他们跪，跪死了，替他们收尸。But suppose he wants to go, though. That's the thing. He probably wants to go. All right. So that was episode one. Joy is life, man. Let's get to the review. All right. So that was episode one of Joy is Life. I am intrigued. I am intrigued. By this story, I of course we don't know quite exactly what's going on yet. Throughout the middle of the episode, I thought maybe he was kind of like he inserted himself into the story somehow, but it's like he's he's writing a story for a contest, and he's kind of like inserted himself into the story. It kind of seems like he's. He's playing a character that knows about the 21st century. If I remember correctly, I think at the beginning of the episode, right at the beginning of the episode, he said something. I didn't, I didn't quite, I don't quite remember what he said, but he did say something, um, alluding to what I'm talking about. So to give a background on the story for um, for what it is, I'm gonna see if I can find it really quick um, here. All right, let me see if I can find it really quick. I'll just uh, let me see if I can go back. No, and he he said something. They said he wasn't safe in the capital, right? Um. They said he wasn't safe in the capital. So it was like, if you go back all the way here to when he just started telling the story, right? All right. So he said a young man with serious myasthenia gravis wakes up so basically myasthenia gravis is a chronic autoimmune neuromuscular disease that causes weakness in the skeleton muscles so he wakes up with um to find himself transformed into a newborn baby tucked away in a bamboo chest So he got a new lease on life, right? He remembers life in it. So it's not the guy. It's basically a part of the story then, right? So he remembers life in the 21st century, right? So he basically, so that's, Okay, so it, I actually thought it was the guy that was writing the story, like inserted himself into the story, but it's basically somebody who had a disease, woke up in a different timeline, as, so like he was reincarnated, maybe he died and reincarnated, I don't know, um, maybe that's the situation, but basically he woke up a bunch of people um, hunting him, right? That's the situation. Okay, so he's confused as a brave new world unfolds itself in front of him. Okay. All right. Pretty much that's it. Agreed. All right. So now I kind of had a, a better understanding. Now going back and, you know, seeing what you know what they said about that 
because at first I thought it was the author that actually inserted himself into the story and he's like he's from the 21st century um but well, well, we'll, 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 we'll see how things go but in any case I'm intrigued by the characters already especially um I'm guessing this is going to be the main character Mr. Mr. Fan <laughs> you know what I'm saying or fun I think it's fun it's pronounced not fan like how we pronounce fan I think it's fun but it is what it is you guys should already know I'm gonna butcher these pronunciations I'm gonna try to remember some of the stuff like I remember it's CN not GN <laughs> whatever I used to say so it's more so it, it kind of seems more um, fluent for me um, there are some things I'm gonna be able to pronounce properly and I'm certainly that I'm going to be butchering some of these names um, I'm definitely interested in these characters Uncle Wu of course that's what I'm gonna call him Uncle Wu you know what I'm saying of course the mother I'm also intrigued by the father as well even though we only saw him on screen for like um, a couple of minutes but I'm intrigued why does he want him back at the Capitol like what happened is he dying does he want you know does he want Fawn to come over there and take over as his son? I think he's going to ultimately decide to go to the capital. That's what I'm thinking. Um, you know, um, the grandma is trying to, to help him to understand that, you know, the capital is just not a good place. Your mom died there. But there's, a, but th that's a part of the mystery as well when it comes on to this story is the mother. Like, they're not revealing anything about the mother. And that's kind of like the mystery right now as in why is this mom so important they keep talking about her of course fawn wants to know about his moms you know what i'm saying like if if your mom died before you you know uh you born your mom died of course you're going to want to know more about your mom you want to know how she died what happened you know did you know my mom i want to know more about her so that's one of the things that i that I'm so far enjoying about this series is just a little bit of mystery here you know what I'm saying it's only one episode and I expect them to give me the whole thing in one episode you know what I mean like um, Nirvana and Fire was just it, it's a it's a masterpiece in writing and you guys said that Joy of Life it's not as good but it is it could hold its own against Nirvana in Fire no doubt so so far so good everybody said character development in the show is really good so we'll see and there's you know there's romance as well in this one and you know i'm all for it i'm all for it bring bring all the elements you know what i'm saying bring on all the elements and let's watch a great show so i'm looking forward to it man joy of life so far so good i'm going to go jump into the second episode Hopefully you guys hit the like button. Don't forget to comment. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.